Earlier today, we had an opportunity to talk with our local forecaster, Ashley Barracy, about the conditions, what we can expect, and what we really think is going to happen as this storm makes its way towards Florida. Here's Ashley. All right, everybody, we're now here in the Weather Center with meteorologist Ashley Barracy, and already this hurricane, Milton, uh, historic in its nature already. Right, so two different points, this has become a Category 5 hurricane, and will weaken before it makes landfall, but still will remain a major hurricane. Why it's so historic, at one point, the sustained winds, 180 miles per hour, making it the third strongest hurricane coming out of the Atlantic Basin in history, tied with Rita, that was in 2005. And Allen, back in 1980, had 190 miles miles per hour uh, sustained winds and so that was the strongest. So what's the timeline right now? What can we expect with this storm? So outer bands already impacting Florida with rain. Winds will continue to pick up. The waves are going to get higher and it's just going to continue to worsen and deteriorate the conditions over the next several hours. The eye of the storm likely making landfall just after midnight. So in the early morning hours of Thursday. Um, but really, it's going to be, you know, the storm surge that's going to be the biggest yeah, can risk. can we and pull that one up? I know you have to step off camera. We will, second, yeah. But. So, you know, when it comes to the, the force of the winds, I mean, if it's a strong cat three or a weak cat four, we're only talking about the difference of a couple mile per hour winds, right? So okay. it's going to be destructive winds regardless. But the storm surge, and so the latest update coming out today from the National Hurricane Center has actually pushed down the strongest storm surge just south of St. Pete. So don't get me wrong, Tampa, St. Pete, they're going to see upward of nine foot storm surge. So that okay. still could overtake a one story building. But from Bradenton down past Inglewood, Florida, which this is a big retirement community yeah. here. Mm -hmm. And then you have Siesta Key, Longboat Key. People have property there, people vacation there. Um, now we're looking at upward of a 12 foot storm surge. And so these barrier islands and then in you know the, the beachfront here from Bradenton through Sarasota, will get the brunt of the surge, which is the highest wind heights. That's going to push farther inland with those strong winds. And you're going to see properties, homes, underwater hang. So this is the area that we're from south of uh, Tampa area, yes. Metro Tampa, all the way down. This is the area where we're expected to see the largest storm surge. So more than 12 feet. So when, when we say that, how far in can we expect that, that height of water to push in? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it's really going to depend on exactly where the eye hits. Um, you know, I don't it know the exact like miles. It looks like it's been targeting but Sarasota pretty. Absolutely. Bradenton, yeah. Sarasota is at least where it's kind of been wobbling towards, uh, you know, throughout the morning today and into the afternoon hours. But, I mean, that can go not – I mean, it's going to go in a few miles, as yeah. you can see here. Now, uh, the worst of it will be right along the coast there. I want to show you, though, as to why storm surge – is so, you know, just so catastrophic and important. So let's go ahead and get to that portion of this. When it comes to the waves, so what happens is, you know, you get high tide and sometimes that trickles up on the beach. But when you have predicted 10 to 15 feet, so we'll say 12 feet, for instance, with this major hurricane, you can see how these waves are crashing and overtaking the one-story buildings, going up a couple stories with apartment complexes. So this is going to wipe out properties along the beach closer to the eye of the storm. And, you know, it's not just one wave that comes through. This is a longer duration event. Those waves will increase over hours. We're talking 36 to 48 hours that this will continuously deteriorate. And then eventually, you know, you'll see this hurricane push out into the Atlantic. It's still going to have hurricane force winds on the Atlantic on side. On the of other it. side of yes. Florida. So once it hits uh, this area, Sarasota, as we saw before, yeah. uh, around midnight tonight, still f until Friday, they're going to be dealing with the effects of that because it will last 36 hours later. The effects of the storm yeah. as far as just rain and yeah. winds, of course. But, yeah. you know, what's... The brunt of it will be that first what? But what long? just is, like, so heartbreaking is these properties that are wiped out, it's going to take years yeah. for them to, to, you know, build back. Um, I just keep thinking of Katrina. Yeah. And, you know, it, it, it's very sobering to see, you know what's going to happen. We were talking uh, before, too, about uh, we've seen different correspondents in the Tampa area showing all the debris. Now, that was debris from, from, Helene. from Helene. But now, what's the concern with all of that debris? Because they haven't been able to get to all of it. So, of course, there's a lot of debris on the curbside um, that they just have nowhere to put that. Yeah. But the biggest part of it, scientifically speaking, is that the ground is already so saturated because they picked up so much rain. Mm -hmm. um, and you saw what happened in North Carolina with Helene. Um, that, you know, the infrastructure just cannot handle that amount of water in a short amount of time. And so the water just has nowhere to go. So when we're talking about forecasted rainfall, upward of eight inches, National Hurricane Center even has localized pockets of maybe 18 inches over wow. a foot. And then you're pairing that with over 12 feet storm surge. Yeah. I mean, 
it's just it's it's you, you can't even fathom yeah what's going to happen to the co the Gulf Coast of Florida. Yeah, I mean, literally all coming together is the perfect storm. Whether it's the the, yeah. the winds itself or the storm surge, or it's devastating. Yeah. That's why you're staying on it. We appreciate the update. We'll have more uh, at clickondetroit.com as the storm makes its way towards Florida.